Hello Leo, this is Debs and this is your reading for mid-October 2021. Leo, life is getting better. <laughs> it's what I heard. Um, I saw somebody opening a document and smiling from ear to ear. So something is going to arrive in the post, which is going to make you very happy. Um, I also saw somebody looking at the bank statement and just saying, oh, thank goodness. So there could be a large sum of money coming in. It could be a bonus pay rise. It could be an insurance payout that you're going to receive. There is a sense of finally things seem to be working out. But I do feel, Leo, that it's been after a period where you felt a little bit stagnant, a little bit down, kind of life isn't really working out for me. Things are set to change. OK. <laughs> All right, guys, let's delve in. Here we go. Let's see what the cards have to say. Beautiful energy, Leo. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us in this reading for my Leos. What does Leo need to know, please, Michael, for this period of time? Yeah. Lining things up. Oh, the cards are being awkward. Lining things up is what I'm hearing. Things are lining up. Yeah. Things are moving forward. Okay. Who do we have with us, Michael, please, in this reading for my Leos? Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Azriel. Thank you. One card flipped over. Did it, did it, did it? No? Yes? Hmm. Okay. All right. Leo, I think you're finally seeing the wood for the trees. Mm-hmm. Oh. I can see someone give another person a set of keys. And there's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of excitement. Okay. That's the one that flipped over. Maybe you were wondering, Leo, whether or not you were going to ever get your wish come true, whether you were ever going to be happy and feel balanced. It's happening, but you may not believe it. <laughs> yeah, you may not believe it. Okay, guys, here we go. All right. Oh, my goodness. Guys, coming straight out with a ten of cups. I'm hearing finally I can take a break. Finally. You have been working and working and working, Leo, for this. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Look at your blessings, Leo, when they come in rather than still sitting in. Yeah, this is great, but I haven't got that amount of money, but it should have happened six months ago. No, just enjoy this feeling, Leo, because it's very exciting for you. This is you finally feeling as if things are beginning to work out. Money coming in. You could be talking to somebody about, I'm hearing a business, business, okay? Maybe some of you are starting your own business. Leo, this is a very exciting time. Yeah, look at that. L lots of messages coming in, money coming in. Just make sure you're sitting in a high vibe energy. Because there may be a tendency, Leo, and I don't know why I'm feeling this, where you may think, well, this is good, right? Tick the box, on to the next thing. No, just sit and enjoy this time. Because this is you reaching some kind of <laughs> fulfillment in your life. You've reached a certain level and things are good. Things are good. Yeah. Hoping for your ships to come in. I think, Leo, this is you almost not believing what is happening. Almost not believing it. Temperance. Healing. Healing. This is all being divinely guided. And I'm hearing from Michael all in divine timing as well. All in divine timing. You're getting to a more peaceful place. 
in your life. Six of Cups in the reverse. Are you feeling nostalgic? Okay. Okay. Maybe some of you are missing someone. Maybe everything is good in your material world. But maybe you're just missing someone's company. Maybe you're going to be going on a journey to see this person. Wow. So you could be going on a journey to see a Scorpio or a Pisces because you miss them. But Leo, this is, wow, amazing energy. I don't know why I get why I don't feel more excited about this for you because you're in your head. The full, very exciting energy. This is Aries. This is I'm free. I'm liberated. Life is good. Kind of exciting. Four of Swords in reverse. There was some heartbreak. There was a little bit of, is this ever going to happen? You may just feel very tired right now. You're taking action. And there is a lot of excitement coming into your life. But even though we have just one or two cards of you feeling, hmm, a little bit nostalgic, they seem to be coming out very strongly to me in this reading. Which may be putting a bit of a dampener on what you should be feeling very excited about. Underneath that, Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is you single, male or female, but this is you. Life is good. Money's coming in. You're giving yourself a good life. Six of Pentacles, to the point where you can give to other people. Hmm. All right, guys. Let's see where this takes us. I'm just generally getting a really good feeling. I just don't know why there's a twinge of... Yeah, life is good. Just make sure you're grateful for what you have in your life, Leo, because there may be a sense of, yeah, it's good, but it's not everything I want. Well, that may take some time. Because here we have you. We have you sitting in the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. This is you stable in your home. This is you enjoying time with friends and family. With the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, I think you are also realizing that all the time and energy and effort you put into creating your stability is paid off. You can basically take a break. You can sit back and enjoy what you have achieved. I mean, even if this is you single, which I think for some of you this is, this is you enjoying a new home. This is you having money to redecorate. Because you've worked for it, Leo. In the past, with a Wheel of Fortune, this might have been a couple of months ago, could have been six months ago, you moved into a successful new cycle. New cycle began for you. This might be a cycle of success in your work. It's what I'm feeling in particular. And after that time, you moved into the energy of the Hermit in reverse. Maybe some of you, you decided, yeah, I've been in too much. I've been isolating myself too much. I need to get out and meet people. So you did. It's exactly what you did. But there is something troubling you, Leo. Try to put my finger on it because this is looking so amazing. Nine of Swords. I mean, is this you still feeling a bit alone? Is this you having huge success? financial stability, everything is good, you're moving forward, you've achieved a great deal, but maybe you're still single. Maybe this is you thinking, well, I've achieved a great deal, but I've realised that it's not all about the stability. You know? Michael, when do we have the Knight of Pentacles coming in for my Leos, please? Michael's just telling me the beginning of November. Okay, so Leo, you've got the energy of the Knight of Pentacles. I think this is you receiving money. I mean, this could be you thinking, okay, well, everything's good in my world now. What about love? Maybe you're ready to move into a commitment. 
We'll find out more about that in a minute. But whatever we have going on in the environment, whoever this person is, they're sitting in the Eight of Wands. I mean, this is fast communication, lots of messages. Maybe somebody wanting to travel to see you. Or this is someone in your environment who is messaging you saying, yeah, Leo, you've got the house. You've achieved, you know, a large amount of new clients. It's all good. You've got money coming in. Whatever this communication is makes you very happy, makes you feel very stable. In a strange way, Leo, what you are nervous about with the energy of the Emperor is that you've achieved all you can achieve. You've done it. You've got there. You've reached the top of your game. You've reached your goal, maybe as an entrepreneur, someone very successful. But this is you thinking, well, now I've achieved all this. Where else do I go? Because I've kind of got it all but you're still sat in the Nine of Swords. I'm not saying that this is you not appreciating where you are. I think this is you maybe realizing that even with all this success and stability, you're not totally happy. And it could be for some of you that you are still single. That's the reason. Yeah, I live a great life. You know, I'm very happy I've, I've, in terms of, you know, I may have friends and family around me. If you're a single mom, yeah, my kids are good. I'm bringing money in, but I still am alone in the evenings. I still don't have anyone to share this with. Maybe that's what you're realizing. Because this is you fearing with the emperor that you've got everything. The emperor has achieved a huge amount. Very successful. But you're almost worried, well, where do I go from here? Is this now it? What is my next goal? I've achieved everything. There is a sense that you may not be looking at the blessings in your life. So make sure you are. Make sure you sit in an attitude of gratitude. You know, some people don't even have homes. But this may be you realising that it's not all about financial stability. And it may shock you. I mean, you may have struggled all your life to clear debt, to pay your rent, and now suddenly money's coming in. You should be super happy, but there is a sense of, yeah, but there is still something missing that's troubling you. You know, this is some of you think, thinking, well, yeah, I've got it all, but I still go to bed on my own at night. There's no one to wake up to in the morning. Hmm. Whatever you're realizing at this point of time, Leo, you're hoping for the Three of Wands, which is to jump on that ship. Turn your back on the past, move forward and progress. Maybe some of you are very simply thinking, well, now I've got everything all settled in my life. I may now want to travel. I may now think about connecting with people in other areas of the world. Maybe this is you thinking, well, I now need to figure out what my next goal is. And it may be that for some of you, you just need a few days away from your environment, which is beautiful. It's very stable. But maybe you need time to think somewhere completely different. The final card is temperance. This could be you reconnecting with a Sagittarius. This could be you treading water. Okay, I now need to decide what is next in my life because you've definitely reached a very successful goal that you've been striving for for some of you many years. But what may be shocking, Leo, is that you could be sitting in a lovely place, no debt, kids are good if you've got kids. Life is generally smooth, smooth sailing but there is something that you're unhappy about and it could simply be you realizing it's time. It's time I brought a partner into my life. It's time I concentrated on my social life. And I think this is what you're doing. With the Six of Cups in the reverse, 
there is nostalgia about someone that you met in the past, someone you felt a deep soul connection to. This could have been a Scorpio or a Pisces in particular, or maybe even a Sagittarius. With a high priestess in reverse, though, you came to understand that this was not supposed to be. This is you coming out of fantasy land and seeing the reality of the situation, which is, I can't go back towards this person or they can't be with me. It could be that there might be distance between the two of you and it saddened you. This would just be impractical because, you know, they live in another country, that sort of energy. And I don't know, maybe with the Eight of Cups, you're thinking about undertaking a journey, hoping to go and see someone. Now you've achieved what you want to achieve. This is you thinking, OK. I want to reconnect with somebody I knew because I think that is what's making me sad when I shouldn't be. I should be really happy with what I've achieved. With a death card, I think this is you. Now you're settled and grounded and sorted in your material world. I think this is you going for change, big change. Scorpio energy. This is you moving into the next transformation. Now you've achieved success in your life. This is you thinking, OK, well, the next thing is to find someone to share it with. This is what this is. So this is you, very excited with the energy of the fall, brand new cycle, liberated. Goodness me, fantastic. I've got this money coming in. Business is very successful. I've got my promotion. I've moved into a new place. Whatever this is for you, very excited. Nine of Pentacles. I've got everything I need. I've got everything I want. Life is good. Beautiful. But with the Four of Swords in reverse, there is some previous heartbreak from something that happened in the past. It may be you're just missing someone. And I think you're taking action at this point to bring them back into your life. Because with the Six of Pentacles, maybe things now are more grounded for you. Maybe financially things were rocky in the past and you had to build up your stability. Now you actually have the means and the confidence to work on a situation with someone because you're not so stressed about your foundation. This is you wanting equal give and take. This is you wanting to give to someone that you may have pushed away in the past because maybe you didn't feel secure. Maybe you were lacking of confidence. I've got nothing to offer. I need to try and sort out my money, my business. Now you've achieved that. I think you're returning to someone to bring them into your life. This could be you wanting to heal a connection from the past that you may have had to have walked away from. Very interesting. Okay, Leo, let's delve in. But generally, goodness, guys, beautiful energy. Wow. Wow. Strength. Your Leo card straight out. This is you having achieved to the point where you're now feeling confident your self-esteem has been given a boost because you've, you've done well. This is you feeling really good about yourself. Maybe you didn't in the past. Four of Pentacles. Hanging on to your self-confidence. For some of you, you're saving. Or you've been hanging on to the idea or thought of someone, but you haven't opened up, maybe until now. Six of Wands, victory and success, doing extremely well, hanging on to that success. You've achieved a great deal, Leo. Oh, my goodness. What is the Nine of Swords? I'm not going to go into the Hermit because this is you just knowing that you have to come out of yourself and socialise because this is you just spending a lot of time, I think, on your career 
What is the Nine of Swords for my Leo? What is my Leo worried about, thinking about? Five of Wands in the reverse. Maybe there was conflict with someone. You want to mend a situation. Maybe there was conflict with someone. Okay, the moon energy, maybe a Cancerian, or you've kept it very quiet from people that underneath all this success, happiness, life is good, you're not actually that happy. Okay, because you're suffering from heartbreak. This is you missing someone. Disappointed that something didn't work out with someone. This is your heart, Leo. You're realising whatever I've achieved, it hasn't given me emotional fulfilment. I still feel heartbroken. Oh my goodness, Leo. Yes, and that is what is stressing you out. This is you reminiscing about a past love that you never got over. So despite the success, the happiness, the stability, you're not totally happy, Leo, because you realised, I'm not going to be happy until I'm back with this person. And it's burdening you, it's weighing on your mind. I think this is you wondering whether or not you should reach out to someone. Michael, what is the Knight of Pentacles? Page of Cups. All right, Leo, maybe, maybe you're wanting to reach out a message to someone to say, you know, life is good. I've, I've concentrated on my business. Things are stable. I want to come and see you. Can I, can I visit you? If this is somebody at a distance, it may be. Yeah, the world. So you may want to travel to see someone to say you've moved into a new cycle. Everything is now good. You're nice and stable because you're realizing you're really unhappy without someone. You're really unhappy. Yeah. Wow. Justice. Yes, because Leo, despite everything you have, you still feel a bit unbalanced. You want balance in your life. So this is you now concentrating on your love life, your emotional happiness, rather than just your material happiness. This may be a bit of a wake-up call for you, Leo. Now, for some of you, you're concentrating on maybe, you're communicating maybe with a Libra. Knight of Cups. Wow. Are you coming forward to someone to express the fact that you love them? I mean, for some of you, you're wanting to talk about getting serious. Justice is a legal contract. Michael, what is this person's energy? Who is in the environment? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you could be connecting to a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Somebody who is maybe stable financially themselves. Okay. Ace of Cups. So when you come forward towards them, Leo, this is someone who is thinking, wow, this is going to be a new relationship. I may well be connecting with a male Leo, but take it as it resonates, guys. Yeah, they're thinking, wow, I'm getting this big offer of love. Goodness me.
Seven of Pentacles. This is someone who is reviewing the past when you turn up, thinking about what happened in the past. Wow, we have the star, Aquarian energy. This is someone who is also wanting to balance out their life. Now, if this is someone who has been concentrating on their own career, they also have got to a point in their life where they want love too. So with you coming in, Leo, this is them thinking, yeah, you know what? I've just been concentrating on my own financial security. I need to balance out my yin and yang as well. I want balance in my life too. So it may well be at this point, Leo, that both of you are on the same page. Grounded, stable, life is good for both of you independently. This is you coming together to fulfill your emotional happiness because you, you're both ready for that. You're both sorted in your lives to the point where you now want to share it with someone. This could be beautiful. Now, Leo, they could be thinking about you. This would balance out my life. Now, maybe Leo's really ready to take action for a proper relationship. They're very attracted to you, Leo. Wow, very attracted to you. The chariot, more Cancerian energy. But this is someone who's not quite sure whether or not it's time for them to move forward towards you. I mean, it may be that simply they're busy. It may be they need to work a few things around so they have time to actually visit you unless you're visiting them. There could also be, though, a slight pulling back from this person because despite them feeling that this would give them emotional fulfillment, they're very attracted to you. This is someone who may be nervous that if there is distance between the two of you, I mean, if you two do live in different states, different countries, they're holding back because they're just not sure it would work long term. This is someone who may not want a long distance relationship. And it may be that you two need to have a conversation about this. Would one of you be willing to relocate to be with the other? Now, if you two both have successful careers, but in different areas of the world, that could cause a problem because there's, there's the issue of well, who is willing to give up the job to move to be with the other person. So there may need to be that kind of conversation. But in general terms, Leo, this is lovely. Now, temperance. Now, this could be patience. This is treading water. This could be you deciding how are we actually going to make this happen? wants to come out that one okay oh page of wands okay so there's going to be patience messages going backwards and forwards really nice oh ace of wands both fired up about this passionate new start okay goodness me guys four of wands so you're thinking about maybe moving in together. Could we make this work? Could one of us move to live with the other person? Wow. Yeah, seven of cups. Okay, how are we actually going to do this? How is this going to work? You may be a little bit confused. Is this really going to work out? This is you, though, communicating. As long as you keep communicating, it will be fine. Yeah, magician. Both of you are sat, I feel, Leo, particularly you, in magician energy. We can manifest this. It may be a little bit confusing. It may need a little bit of moving things around. But there is the desire to really make this happen. And I feel it's both of you. Yeah, both of you.
Two of Cups. Gorgeous. My goodness, people. Two people who are on the same page, two people who have feelings for each other. Hmm. Queen of Wands. So we've got the King and Queen of Wands. That's a true pair. Two people who are also incredibly attracted to each other. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Now, it could be that one of you has a child that you need to consider in the mix. It could be that the Page of Pentacles is a contract one of you may be, may be deciding to get a job in another area, waiting for that offer in order to move, to be with the other person. Yes, look at that. Wow. So one of you is definitely relocating to be with the other person, moving down a new path. Goodness me. Yes. So with the Four of Cups in the reverse, if there was any holding back, I'm not sure. Should I accept this offer of love? I really want it. You're now both saying, yes, we have to get practical. One of us has to actually make a change in their life to make this happen. But I think this is happening. I think this is, yeah, okay, now we're ready to do this. Cars are flying. Oof. Hmm. One of you may be a little bit nervous spying on the other to figure out are they really doing it are they really going to be making this change but don't sit in that nervous slightly pessimistic energy leo because i think this is you really both working to make this happen okay Ace of Pentacles. Really lovely. Leo, this is a large offer. This could be someone going for a job in another area. But this is you, I'm feeling, getting very fired up and passionate about this, but actually making it happen in the real world. This is, yeah, we're able to actually live together and build on this relationship. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Someone here is letting go of a job to move to be with the other person. Okay. I think the fear is one of you actually leaving a job to relocate. Am I going to be able to afford it? Is this the right decision? I think it will be because you two are very strong in the fact that you both want this to work. You're both on board with this. It is going to be a little bit nerve wracking. Yeah, okay, so somebody may even have to sell a property. Somebody's going to lose some money. Now, who knows, guys? Maybe someone here was separated from a karmic partner but not actually divorced. Somebody here may actually be going through a full divorce to start a fresh new life with the other person. I mean, for some of you, that's the case. Anything else, please, for my Leos? Anything else? <laughs> Perfect card to end the reading. The sun. So however this transpires, there's going to be a lot of enlightenment, a lot of progress. The sun is also global travel. This is happiness and this is your card of Leo. So Leo, however this works out for you, this is you understanding that this connection, reconnection with this person was what you really wanted, despite your financial security, despite your business going well, you're climbing up the career ladder. What you really wanted was to be with this person. And this is you deciding to really make it work. And I think they're on board. So people, all's well that ends well. Leaving it there, take care of you. And I will be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye, guys.